some of you might be on a late show, but is that a Mashiachimashiach name, which y'all say at the end of y'all prayers? That's what it says in Revelation 3.14. And the Most High told us in Exodus 23 and 13, he said, in all things that I have said unto you, Exodus 23 and 13, He said, in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. See? So, that's why I'm spelling it. And I really don't want it to come out of my mouth. Because that's what he said. But they put it there and you make it make sense. It don't make no sense. But it makes sense if you're going to be calling on that God and they have you put it in there and they have you saying it after every prayer you pray. Sad to say, but it's real. So, let's look at um, what we want to be and how the Most High, He got us. Going back to, uh, we got to finish that in Matthew 5, 17. See where we want to be. Matthew 5 and 17. Think not, I mean, don't even think that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come come to destroy but to fulfill he fulfilled it by what was written about him to suffer for our sins uh, I think that's Acts third chapter let's see Acts the third chapter verse 18 Acts 3 and 18. But those things which the Most High before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that a Mashiachai should suffer, he have so fulfilled. You see? That's, how he, that's why he said, Repent ye therefore and be converted. Got changed. That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing come, shall come from the presence of a Mashiach Yahushai, from the Most High, and he shall sit a Mashiach Yahushai, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive unto the times of restitution of all things, which the Most High has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began, y'all. So, going back to Matthew 5, 17, he said, Think not that I am come to sin. I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. You see? Whosoever therefore shall, just to these preachers, and these teachers out there, ministers, whatever they call themselves, whosoever priests, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, like they say we're not under the law. We went through enough scriptures today to prove that we're under the law. Mashiach Shai is going to kill the nations by the law, saying the law to them as he's killing them. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He's going to be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But, Whosoever shall do and teach them, do and teach the laws of the Most High, the moral laws, the civil laws, the dietary laws, the ceremonial laws. And you can go online on YouTube at my page, Priest Awam, T H A A H W A M P R I E S T. Awam, T H A A H W A M, and type in going over the laws. And once you start going over the laws, you can learn the laws. That's what I say. But whosoever shall do, the laws and teach them the laws of the Most High. 
the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. You want to be great in the kingdom of heaven? You got to you got to do the laws. Look. Matthew 19:16, right to the point. Matthew 19:16. This rich man came and asked him I'll take a shot question. Let's see what he said. Matthew 16, 19. 16, 19, 16, select it. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? What good thing can I do to have eternal life, to live forever? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There was none good but one. That is the most high. But everybody said they good now. So they represent the most high. They the most high. So ain't nobody good but the most high. But you'll find people say, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And they've heard it. They still saying I'm good. Okay. Mashal Shai said, there's none good but the most high. And if y'all will enter into life, keep the commandments. Can't get no clearer than that. That's from Mashal Yahweh Shai mouth. He said, keep the commandments. You want to enter into everlasting life? Keep the commandments. That's what he said. What you going to do? When he come for you, you going to say, hey, you didn't keep my commandments. Look, look what Isaiah, let's go to the kingdom. Isaiah 66 chapter. And all you say to all the most I know my heart, I can eat whatever I want to eat. And y'all ain't doing no research to see what you're eating, what you put in that body. He say, our bodies are the temple of the Most High. This started Isaiah 66, 15, since we here. He said, behold, for behold, the Most High will come with fire. That's what he's going to use to clean this earth up. Fire. For the Most High will come with fire. He's going to sit on my second of shot with fire. And with his chariots, like a whirlwind, them angels, like a whirlwind, 200 million angels, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the Most High plead with all flesh and the slain of the Most High shall be many he mean he gonna kill a whole lot of people now he's talking about a certain particular people that do certain things they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden behind one tree in the midst eating swine's flesh eating pig eating the hog, eating pork, and the abomination. You better read Leviticus 11 chapter to find out what you can eat and what you can't eat, what's clean and what's unclean, and the abomination. Are you eating catfish, shrimp, lobster, crabs, crawdads, pork, oysters, everything that eat doo-doo and got doo-doo all in them, and you are what you eat? But the doodle eaters, abomination, and the mouse, uh-oh, and the mouse. So I seen chickens eating mouse, mice. So you are what you eat. Most I said, shall be consumed together. Not only that, they eat dead bodies and turkeys of the vulture. Family, that's why they would eat dead bodies. But y'all ain't, ain't looking at what it is that y'all put in your, your system. Why you eat turkey and all of a sudden you go to sleep? Everybody go to sleep. <laughs> eat turkey, that's so you get sleepy. Something in there that's not right for your body. Look. He said, shall be consumed together, said the Most High. Most High gave us quail. You think he could have gave us chickens? <laughs> we was in the wilderness complaining, murmuring against Moses. We ain't got nothing to eat. We ain't got nothing to eat. So he gave us quails. Clean birds. He said, those that eat the abomination, you better be looking at what you put in your body. Because he said, we're going to make our abode in you. And we are the temple of the Most High. You don't dwell in those temples made with hands. We are the temple of the Most High. And you putting all this in your body? He said, what he say? Shall be consumed together, said the Most High. But I know their works and their thoughts. He know what you're thinking. And he know what you're doing. He know what you've been doing. You know better now. It shall come to that I will gather all nations and tongues and they shall come and see my glory. See, now let's jump over to verse 22. Isaiah 66 and 22, it says, For as the new heavens and the new earth 
which I will make, shall remain before me, said the Most High, so shall your seed and your name remain. A new heaven and a new earth, y'all. That he's going to make. It shall come to pass. Would he burn certain parts of this earth up to purify it? And it shall come to pass that from one new moon in the kingdom. Now, we're in the kingdom. From one new moon, that's the first day of the month. To another, that we honoring the feast day. Having a good time. Feasting. The first day of the month. Every first day of the month is a feast day. From one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another. So every seven days we have a Sabbath, and the Holy Convocation our Sabbaths. Shall all flesh come to worship before me, said the Most High. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses, that's the dead bodies of the men that have trans transgressed against me. For their worms shall not die. Y'all think I'll be just talking out the side of my neck. He said, they worms shall not die. Neither shall their fire be quenched. I mean, they're going to be burning continually. And the worms are going to be eating them up continually. He got worms that will not die from the fire that's burning the bodies up. When we finish having a good time, this is what we got to see before you go home. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses, the dead bodies of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worms shall not die. Neither shall their fire be quenched. And they shall be an abhorring, a hating to all flesh, unto all flesh. Go hate to see this, but one thing about it, when you go home, you're gonna remember. You remember that. You gonna remember, I don't wanna be there. I don't wanna be there. Don't put me there, please. Most I don't take me and put me there. You gonna stand in. <coughs> Seeing that? You know we like to have a good time. We're going to have a good time, and after that, you got to deal with that, seeing that. He said, everybody going to see it. Nobody going to miss that. That's going to keep us in order. You think about it, somebody that do, do iniquity or sins, and then you know them. You kicking them, and then that's thing you know, they over there burning. You see them. You know them. That's the dead carcass burning. Worms eating them up. The fire's not quenched. So you know it ain't like you buried them in the ground. Ain't nobody going to be buried them all. You're seeing it right there. Man, that'll straighten you up. That'll straighten you up real quick. Look at uh, Hebrews, the fourth chapter, in the 15th verse. <clears throat> Hebrews 4 and 15. For we have not an high priest who is a Mashiach Yahweh which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. See, Mashiach Yahweh knows what we're going through. Jacob's trouble. But was in all points tempted like as we are. Hear that? In all points tempted like we are. We can go into Matthew the fourth chapter and Luke the fourth chapter with a actual devil was tempting him for 40 days. And what did he use against the devil? The law. For all you say, we not under the law. He used the law every single time that the devil tempted him. How about that? So y'all not going to know how to rebuke the devil because y'all not taught the law. Y'all not taught where he went to rebuke the devil. Are you? I'm telling you religious people. They ain't teaching you that. But he went to the law of the Most High every single time to rebuke the devil. And then the devil had to leave him alone. I've covered that many lessons. So look, but we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. What we going through, y'all? But was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. That's why I tell you in Ecclesiastes, Two and one said, when you come to serve the Most High, prepare thyself for temptation. Go there. Hold that. This is a preparation that you should be getting right now. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Most High, prepare thy soul for temptation. When you come to serve the Most High, just like I'm saying, I was shy. He was 30 years old. That's when the ministry started. 30 to 50. He was 30 years old. 
when his ministry started, he fasted for 40 days, 40 nights. And who was tempting him? The devil, like I said, when you come to serve the Most High, that's the ministry. Prepare yourself for, pray your soul for the devil. What do you say? Set thy heart aright. Set your mind aright. By do what? Keeping the law, that's come out of the Most High. You know him, then you break it down and send them out to him. You want? You got problems in your house? Play them laws in your house. Because he can't deal with the law. He's contrary to the law. Set thy heart aright. And constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. This is Jacob's trouble. So don't run in time of trouble. He said, cleave unto him. Cleave unto the Most High more and more and more. And depart not away. Take that thou mayest be increased. Not decreased, but increased at thy last end. He said, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Just be patient. Patient deal with time. Everything is not on your time, it's on his time. That's why I said, but gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, have faith in him, in the most high. And he will help thee. Order thy way of right, and trust in him, have faith in him. That trust is that faith you have in the most high. Ye that fear the most high, wait for his mercy. And go not aside, lest ye fall. You fear the Most High, wait for his mercy. We know Isaiah 14 and 1 says, For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined unto them. They're going to cleave to them. They're going to be bond men and bond women. Just like we were bond men and bond women. So now let's go back to Hebrews 4 and 15. But we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. See, he's tempted, but he didn't sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Give you something you don't deserve. That's grace. That we may obtain mercy, which is not give you something you do deserve, and grace is getting something you don't deserve. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And find grace and to help in time of need. Getting something you don't deserve in a time and help to help in time of need. Getting something you don't deserve to help us in our time of need. Jacob's trouble. You see this? This is what works. This is what we want to be. Psalms 91st chapter. Y'all all right? Psalms 91st chapter. This is where we want to be. Psalm 91 and 1. 